Hello and welcome back to Boring Dead Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Nobody Wants to Die. I think we've come back to our uh, office building, I would think. Um, I don't know if we go up or down. I presume it's up. Yeah, that looks locked, doesn't it? So that's probably where we go. It's uh, looking pretty... <laughs> looking pretty good. Um, the wet, sick smell of mold and mm. fungus flows off the moisture slick walls and permeates the air. Almost like that. that chocolate at Green's place. Almost. Why does this chocolate smell moldy? Elevator to ground floor. Even cops don't go down there alone. Oof. It's on the ground floor. Hmm. Okay. What's this? 10,000 steps every day, your body needs it. According to federal law, your body is the property of the government. No, in, no insubordination or neglect will be tolerated. Uh, okay, so the 10,000 steps is, uh, is mandatory. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I don't do that. Ooh. It's going to become a bit of a cropper there by the look of it. Gonna be our place. Kind of looks like it. I'm just gonna go over here, see if there's anything to have a look at. Don't want to miss anything. What's this? Uh, watch yourself and others for the common good. Oh, it's all very big brother, isn't it? Give back our bodies. Hmm. <clears throat> I deserve something. Get your hands off me. Yeesh. A ballad. God's body, good price. Oh dear. <clears throat> oh, so we got prosperous citizen, prosperous, prosperous society. Ambrosia, your daily dose of immortal. That's what that's um what we were taking in the car, wasn't it, Ambrosia? Um, keeping you posted. Oh look at that food. Healthy taste of the whole family. It looks like I mean it looks like literal crap, doesn't it? <laughs> hmm. Is this gonna be our one? Who's in here? R and J Kara. Doesn't look too bad. Welcome home, James oh. Kara. How was your day? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Due to the high level of air pollution, I recommend full body decontamination. Yikes. What do we got here? The parties, I said I smashed it with the ball during the game. The truth is, it was after the game. And I had a ball shaped stone trophy. A football trophy. Okay. The Batbreaker 2244. 100th in one season from the New York Hellhounds with love. Layer of the year, 2237. What's this? Uh, check our mail. We can do that. Dear James, we would like to invite you to a familiarization party at Frank's New Body. Uh, for Frank's New Body. We're meeting at our house, 7pm at October 26th. We don't want to pass each other on the streets like strangers, do we? Hugs, Frank and Acha. Okay, exciting stuff. We'll work our way around. Uh, let's go and have a look at the, at the view. What's this? It's almost like a old Humphrey Bogart sort of style picture, isn't it? 
<laughs> the other woman. Actors like in their own VHS. bodies. Now that was cinema. Hmm? What's this? He's uh, got a little project going. Not quite sure what he's uh, doing. Weird. So this is a nice view, but it's uh, it's going to be a hologram or something, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> That's our actual view. Oh, I'm actually I'm actually going out now. Okay. I mean, I don't think I want to do that yet, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go back in. We're going to finish up uh, looking around our apartment. President, calm people down, promise to veto, and then what do you do? He signed as soon as the bill landed on his desk. Well, why am I going out again? Nothing but a pen in the hands of corrupt politicians. <laughs> I was trying to examine uh, Estia. I don't know why that happened. I just like to come home and jump in and out the window a few times. I mean, who doesn't? Honestly. Pretty usual Voicemail stuff. Voicemail message from old bastard. Kara, I'm waiting for a report. You know which one. I advise you to get a move on. I don't know how I was lucky enough to even meet a woman like that. Hmm. I hope we find out what happened to her. Dear Mr. Kara, congratulations on getting a new body. We hope the synchronization has gone smoothly. At the same time, we want to present you with a list of documented ailments slash defects of your new shell. Oh, good. So you don't get a perfect body. Um, lactose intolerance, bronchial asthma, scoliosis, oh, bloody hell, allergy to... Heaven nuts, charo caprica, and cocoa aroma. Don't know what those are. Heaven hypertension. We wish you many happy returns and happy years in your new body. Right. Okay. Um. Well, that's not good. I had to sell this car. The car was great, but started to fall apart, and it wasn't safe either. A sound mind and a sound body. I've forgotten what that's like. Wonder which one was us. <clears throat> when I started the service, the guys <laughs> didn't believe she was my wife. Even when I brought this photo, they said it was photo montage. I bet every one of those guys has a new body by now. Probably wouldn't recognize each other on the street. And it makes you wonder where these bodies come from, doesn't it? I mean, I know... They, I think they um, repossess it if you don't keep up the payments, but they must be, they must like originate somewhere, mustn't they? I wonder kind of what the deal with that is. Shit, Seth. I'm sorry your luck ran out the way it did. Really sorry. Brian. Brian sounds much better, love. Oh. Oh, it used to be Ryan. Okay, not sure what that's about. What's the, oh. As usual, finally. Okay, let's find out what's going on in here. Like a medicine counter. It's like more ambrosia, doesn't it? Current module shower. Uh, we can Okay, so we probably will decontaminate. What's this? Welcome the new day with a bright smile. Alright, well, let's do this then. Hey! I was still using it! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Are these uh, shared between um, apartments, I guess? Still wearing our clothes. You know, if it wasn't for that badge, I would have fucked you up a long time ago. Yeah, hey, right back at you. Oh, cocky, are we? Well, what's your first move then? The powerful right hook. Amateur, who starts like that? Block, left, right, and they're picking you up from the ground. One nothing.
Oh, hello. Nice ass. It's hard to get used to a face marked by someone else's mistakes. Though for some reason, it's much easier with the eyes. Once the life fades out of them, they can belong to anyone. space to fire up the evidence board evidence board cool okay so this is, uh, this is is it well that's been sealed with something hasn't it like there's like an expanding foam thing around the door jam ah huh. weird hey what's this you're lucky i don't need to water you depend on me and you won't have long to live i'm a bit like that with plants just just forgetful <laughs> what's this New body allergies. Heaven nuts. Uh, so what are these? I don't know. Hollow chicka grill with vignette dressing. Dust burger with chanky bread. Ham salad jelly. True madness with surprise. Juice berries. Big ox. Shady shake. Taconberos and chigets. Protein honey. Fit and green. From Demma for you. Glassy and classy. Chebachta sugar rush. Flow flu. Or is it Fio Few? Uh, Piero Alajanus. Stinky secret. Oh god. Hot hog and choco rush. Hollow gettables. And that's what we've. Uh, this. So was this protein honey? Is that what's been dispensed there? It's pretty grim. Uh, what we got here? How much time has passed? I feel like I'm taking them more and more often. What's this? Train disaster shakes city. Uh, last night became a nightmare for the people of central Harlem. A city train derailed, taking a terrible toll. Dozens of people were admitted at the Consciousness Transmission Center, including two agents. No official cause of the catastrophe has been submitted, though there were numerous reports of explosions and gunshots. The police offer no comment. Read more, page two. Martin Roy announces games. The owner of the famous stadium has revealed his grand plan for 2330 to organize the largest series of sporting events this century. I'm not saying that sports are a recipe for all the world's problems, but if I can make people forget about them for a while, I'll do it. I swear I will, no matter how much it costs. The question remains, who exactly will pay for this endeavor? Interview on page three. The right president for hard times. The president reassures concerned citizens about the controversial law reducing the age of free body subscription. He emphasizes that he is the right leader for hard times, and he will not disappoint the, the confidence placed in him. Then we've got weather, moderate air pollution, standard decontamination procedures, and no acid rainfall. Wow. How nice. Uh, well, that's probably our apartment explored for the time being, at least. Let's see what this is. Uh, well, we said we'd stay honest with Sarah, didn't we? So let's let's continue to 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 do that. Sarah, how's the job going? To complete my report, I need to summarize the evidence. I need access to the system. You heard Chief Steiner. He wants it classified as a suicide and sent straight to him. We were supposed to put our cards on the table, so that's what I'm doing. I appreciate that. But we have one more problem. Do you think I don't know why the chief put you on restricted duty? I read your wife's case file. Uh, forgive me for mentioning her, but it was the same kind of suicide. Sarah, listen to me very carefully. 
We're in this together, and it's a lot bigger than the Chief. Sooner or later, the report will make it to the top brass, and we'll both be fucked. Unless we consider all the circumstances in the report. Oh, fuck. We're in this together. Just give me access. Shut up. I have access, so I analyze, and I put the evidence on the board. Is that clear? As clear as day. Okay. I'm... Uh, I'm sorry for bringing your wife up like that. Look, let's not fight. Let's connect the dots one by one. If we agree with the conclusions, we move on. You'll agree with me sooner or later. The sooner we get this over with, the sooner you can write the report. <laughs> That's the spirit. I should clear up Sarah's doubts about the murder. First, I have to prove that somebody else was there besides Green. And when Sarah takes the bait, I'll convince her about the rest. So... This is quite a lead. Okay, how's the this working? Sarah's... Fucking ghost? There's no question. Sorry, so what's this? So we've got the beating. Yeah. What's this? Bottle marked with snake symbol. We'll leave that for now. Short circuit. That We saw Green doing that. Dedicorite. Okay. Weird symbol. Hangman. Wound. Can't really watch. So what have we got? So we've got the beating means... There was somebody else there. This is what happened here. Hard to explain Green's behavior without bringing third party into it. Do we have any evidence that points to a third party? Okay, so... Probably the wound, right? Could have cut himself, maybe. Like how? Shaving? And... We've got it! We can start somewhere. I was hoping for more enthusiasm. Not gonna happen. Ouch. Okay, we still have shit, but we can at least ask two questions. First, what's the actual cause of death? Second, who's the culprit and what's his motive? Are you saying you're getting involved? I've already changed my mind. Are you the same with guys? I won't correct you on everything you just said that was wrong. Besides, I'm looking for more information about the evidence. But seriously, no more jokes. Okay, what we got? Cause of death. How did Green die? And a potential culprit I've and found motive. some interesting tidbits. Please share. Only with friends. But I'll make an exception for you. Well, what's she got up here? Oh. Tech toxicology. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, let's work through some of this stuff then. Gunpowder on his hands. Uh, traffic cam photo. Just for the incident, he caught him. Traffic cam record Park speeding with Zamor and Jane Salmer. Who's Park? Uh, where was that toxicology report? A large concentration of ambrosia, pharmaceuticals, and some other substances with phony names. So we got uh, cause of death. How did he die? It'll be hard to defend the theory about these cables. The moment of the fall is puzzling. I want to say that someone kicked him, but we don't have enough. No. Well, there's the toxicology. Why did he go into so much trouble. To get past the police reconstructor. The sequence of events worries me. He didn't blow the toxicology a chance because of everything in his blood. Many drugs are rare, withdrawn, or from government projects. Wait, how do you know if Green doesn't glow at night? I don't want to talk about it. We haven't known each other long enough. That's so oh, shit. Let me guess. Some of these substances don't show up in the system. Yeah. How did you know? I'd say we're looking at an old school cover up. No. I don't think so. No, that would be... What? Unethical? 
Ambrosia and pharmaceuticals aren't crucial here, but what were the other subs? What were, what were these things doing to him? Uh, what we got? Somebody had to be pretty damn determined to fuck Green Zikarite up this bad. If we knew how the perpetrator administered the poison. Hey, we can officially call it a poisoning now. Great. You want to open some champagne? Hang on. Do you actually have some champagne? Sure. Old basement full. Vintage from the mortal age. It would make sense for the Icarite destroying poison to get removed from the official report so as not to cause panic or more likely cover tracks. Who was able to kill Green like that? Okay, what have we got up here? Who would want him dead and why? Well, we got the the diary thing, didn't we? Uh, the journals. What do we know about them? Kovalev is a smuggler and the owner of Icarus. And Salma, as you know, is that famous psychologist and a psychiatrist. A smuggler and a shrink. Quite a pair of farewell guests. Two people saw Green the day he died, a smuggler and a psychiatrist. Could either one have a motive? Apparently, he had a heavy foot. He was just showing off to a girl. If I had such a fancy car, I wouldn't need a girl for anything. Who'd want him dead and why? Okay. The best friend. Nope. I have to wonder if someone just dropped it here, or if they threw it back in Green's face. Anything sentimental you turn up at a crime scene can be significant. Who does it point to? Uh. This is creepy. Ugh, looking at this makes my skin crawl. You don't want to know what it's doing to mine. If that says what I think it says, we're getting somewhere. This is no proof. What? But a very solid hypothesis. <sighs> I agree. Let's move on. James, this is fun, and I'd play three more games of Solitaire, but it won't prove anything. What else do you need? More facts, or it's a waste of effort. The former smuggler, smuggler might have dosed Green with the poison that destroys Ikaro. We're missing the murder weapon. Why well, is it going to be this bottle, mm. this weird bottle we found? Got something? No, it's nothing. Uh, conclude analysis. We need to talk seriously. Is this some lame engagement joke? What? No, it's, it's not like that. I just have something for you. If it is, however, some stupid joke, I will get fucking mental on you. <laughs> there is one more piece of evidence. Sorry? Why don't I know about it? It's not in the archive. Because it's not a photo. Oh, wait a minute. <sighs> Tell me you're joking. I'm begging you. It turns out I think it is indispensable. You took physical evidence from the crime scene? They'll put us in jail for this! Oh, shit. I take it back. I'd rather have the engagement ring. It's beautiful. A vial of strange liquid. Probably poison. This creepy voodoo symbol on it makes it more mysterious. More importantly, the material of the vial might retain fingerprints. What do you think? Show me. If you have any more stolen evidence up your ass, you better get it out now, before you hurt yourself. Not this time. Consult your doctor. There's even a term for it. Kleptomania. Symptoms <laughs> include paying for it someday. Uh, I might go upstairs as well. Um, I haven't been up here yet. What we got? The island with the imitation sun. We never had time to go there. The only artificial item with a realistic synthetic sun. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we need that thing down there, but 
Three sleeps. Some whiskey in there. Is that blood? I can't jump onto the bed to take a closer look. Alright. I, I quite enjoyed that. That was a nice uh, little thing. Your herm code? Nine, seven, fucking six. Around Liberty Island, huh? None of your business. Everything was in Sarah's hands now. Which was neat, since my own hands were shaking in a delirium I inherited after some punk I've never known. And one more thing, in the meantime, please send that damn report. What about evidence analysis? You got evidence illegally, and you want to put it in an official report? I'll send it as is. Maybe we'll find something else later. Or we can just pretend none of this ever happened. A complicated and unfortunate accident in which Icarite... Damn it, what am I doing? A specific fraud theory that doesn't quite... Wait. Enough. Numerous clues indicate the involvement of third parties. Suicide or accident is excluded. Oh, should we take our, should we smoke our cigar? A cigar worth three salaries of mine tastes best when it's free. Real tobacco <laughs> tastes real good. With a bitter taste of everything we've lost. What we get is fake views, fake smells, the fake food, fake hope for rats locked in an ever tighter cage. Green's legacy. So yes, I took a single cigar for compensation and wish I'd taken more. I also have a grim certainty that no more compensation is forthcoming. Regarding Green, the chasm between the past and the present seemed to be hard to swallow, even for him. Was he getting himself full of ambrosia? Because all these little souvenirs of a long-gone world aggravated his desynchronization? I wonder. Thoughts like this, triggered by things we've lost. Could they increase desynchronization? Is that why Green stuffed himself with ambrosia? James, are you in front of the board? No, I went out for a breather. That sample, you were right. It's definitely poison, but that's not all. There was a fragment of a print on it. I managed to reconstruct it and search the database. So, who does the print belong to? It's a damn big fish. Slippery, too. Oh, you're gonna make me beg? What's the fucking name? I don't want to say right now. Somebody on the street might overhear. I sent you everything by snail mail. Let me know as soon as you get it. Deja vu. All right, let's go check it out. Oh, why'd you throw that? Oh man, <laughs> should have kept that for another time. Surely. Yeah. Oh well. I bet they're all celebrating. Is it me or does it look like it's about to explode? That's not right, surely. Not right. Once upon a time, bugs swarmed around neon signs. I'd say we are worthy successors. The sun turned out to be the price for immortality. Nobody remembers when we lost sight of it. Join the police, feel the strength of justice. <laughs> Let's go in the window yet again, we're pretty practiced at that now. I 
James. I'm calling unofficial. Not as a boss, but more like a buddy, okay? Mm hmm The documents you found at Green's place. You know it wasn't anything significant, right? I know how this city works. You don't have to explain yourself. Kara, you're my man. I wish it worked differently, but I just need to be in certain, you know, relationships to keep my finger on the pulse, to react, and so on. And so on. Sure. What have you done with them? I wouldn't take anything from a crime scene. Really? You couldn't take care of them? everything myself. And remember, I'm waiting for the report. So our boss is crooked, huh? Deadly poison is atropine. Okay, great. Harmful for Icarite. Uh, current body owner, Dmitry Kovalev, who was the name in that journal when we were doing the board thing, wasn't it? 98% match. Uh, not 100%. Okay. It was Kovalev's fingerprint on the murder weapon, huh? We have to get to him. Are you in? Can I count on you? Look, James, I admit you were right. This is pretty damning evidence. But Kovalev never leaves Icarus. Right. And to get in, we'd have to be a big fish. One of the biggest. Exactly. Special announcement. Engine problems have been reported aboard Icarus, oh, we saw which that. is currently flying over Brooklyn. We ask residents of the borough to stay at home and shelter in place. There is no need to worry. Insurance for bodily injuries will be fully applicable. James, did you hear the announcement? I even felt it. Damn, are you that close to it? Are you alright? The newsfeed said it crashed into a building and that it's about to fall into a chasm. Yeah. We can't pass up a fucking golden opportunity like this. Pass up a go no, wait, James, are you crazy? Too late, bye! <laughs> Where am I going? Are we out the window? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe we'll go straight to the car. The bar was named Icarus and met its end fittingly. <laughs> I didn't have time to savor the irony. An impossible chance to get Kovalev has just fallen out from the sky into my very lap. Or at least my very neighborhood. We did go out the window. Okay, cool. Uh, this way? Is this it? What's that sound? James, are you hearing this? Fire department on site. Ambulance is in 13 minutes. Secure the area. Do not go inside. I say again, do not go inside. Sounds like good advice. Are we, are we, I think we're in the, uh, in the balloon. <laughs> we're not that way. All you sons of bitches in Brooklyn, hold your position. And get the crowd pushed back before it comes down on top of them. Sarah, mute this channel. What? You allergic to orders? Yes, I am. Uh, to the moon record. Okay. That's that. The enemy of prosperity, Mr. Booze. Have a look around. I'm assuming we're not on any kind of uh, time limit, even though it is on fire. Scan does see perfect body auctions held every Friday. But they always look so seedy, those uh, posters.
Alsea 111.1 FM. Government authorized, aware citizen, aware society. Right, okay. Frame rate's dropped a little bit. I think there's, there's a fair amount going on uh, over there. Uh, if it's bad, I'll, I'll, I'll nudge settings down a little bit again. But hopefully, hopefully we'll be all right. It seems they didn't wait for the gravity to do the killing. Swell. I prefer to interrogate corpses. Their deaths tell me more than their lies would. James, evacuate whoever you can and get the fuck out of there. A little late for that. See for yourself. Icarus Bob. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Good question. Help me identify Kovalev. I bet his corpse will open right up if we ask it all nice-like. We're gonna, we're gonna have a look. We'll have a look around, and then we'll, we'll get to the stuff we're supposed to be doing. Kind of intrigued just to explore and have a little poke around. What's that? What's going on with that table? What's that cable? Can I just walk through solid objects? <laughs> it's kind of weird. So here we go. How about this unicorn guy? Seriously? No, it's not him. <laughs> what is that in his head? Is it a bottle? Is it a bottle neck or is it a knife? Probably a knife. No, no. Shed some light on the matter. Take these pictures. And that's all that's left of the bar. Guess I was late for the ride. Yeah, too bad you missed your chance to die screaming in a fire. How about this one? It's not him either. Kovalev is fatter. I bet the contents of this bar cost more than the place itself. You know the feeling when you're not even aware something exists, so you don't need it, but as soon as you see it? Pouring from a bottle is such a hard job. That's how much you drink. Music here. This one? Nope. Doesn't match Kovalev. Shit. Can't find it. Moving on to reconstruction. James, we don't have time. Sarah, I'm going to find out what happened here full stop. Understand? <sighs> okay. Sure. I will. I, I just want to explore more stuff, though. I can't walk down there. That's probably where we start the reconstruction. On the fire, yeah. Oh, let's do this thing again. Load of shit. Boss. Don't worry. I'm sure everyone here can afford new bodies. Fuck them. I'm just talking about the booze.
some stuff for me to investigate here in this boat. Oh! James, don't even think. We have to reconstruct the lock. Fuck. It's as far back as it'll go. So we don't know what caused the explosion? Not yet. James, robbing Kovalev is not the same as swiping a cigar from a corpse. This whole place is about to fall apart and take Kovalev's secrets with it. I'm not about to let that bastard get away from me again. Hey, if you fall, I'll say you acted alone. I'm fucking serious. Fine. Let's get to work. Right, let's check these things out. Okay, so what's happened here? What do you think? Accidents happen to people. Just bad luck. I'd say his luck was a little worse than bad. Someplace else. Paris must have been losing altitude. Until he finally hit the neon sign. The ads in the city are deadly effective. Ugh, James, I'm begging you. Nils Dean, it some numbers. It's, huh, one of ours. Agent from the department. How the fuck did he get in here? Jealous? Yeah. Bullets flying at him or something? Ah. He came from this side, bleeding heavily. The marks will be visible under UV. Thanks, detective. What do you make of this wound? Adrenaline's a hell of a drug. The blood trail leads all the way to the lounges. It must have come from there. So here we got shot. Well out. Got a hit in the air. Had a hard landing.
guy. He kept his cool. For all the good it did him. Let's see where he jumped from. Let's go there. More of the undercover's blood? Nah, uh, it would have bled out. Must belong to the guy next door. Check the DNA for me. No data available. Shit. That's gotta be some big fish. I'll take photos. We'll identify him later. Let me take a photo of him. What is that? A brand name? Could be. Or maybe somebody's initials. Nailed him right through the head. One more, we got briefcase. Damaged. Someone shot through the suitcase lock. I'll check for ballistic trajectories. The side of the bar erupted in a hail of hot lead. Turned the lounges into Swiss cheese. Into what? Yeah, people used to talk like that. I heard in some movie. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. You're a movie buff. Yikes. They sat there in the lounge, all cloak and dagger and hushed tones, until the spray of bullets caught them flat-footed. He managed to scram. Agile body, fast reaction time. Grade B, maybe even A. Where did he get the money for that? Bullet turned his brain to mush. It'll take years to reconstruct his Icarite. James, can you get into the suitcase? Okay. Lock works. Let's see. At least we know where he got the money for that hot rod body. Why is our agent neck deep in this? What's his fucking deal? Dean was not a saint for sure, but we have no idea what or whose business he was doing here. Seriously? He obviously wasn't doing anything legit. Legit? I've been with the department so long, I don't even remember what that means. Uh-huh, right. I don't think we'll get any more out of the Swiss cheese lounge. Let's move on. You've never been tempted to... No, no, put it down! Yeah, yeah, uh, just asking. <laughs> Okay, so that's probably the next place, but I did see this was uh, something to examine earlier. So right now. There's blood. Turn on the UV lamp. The left prints are everywhere. Well, it is his bar. Looks like he's built a few Bloody Marys, so to speak. Let's follow the trail. Traces lead here. Some unidentified substance. Reads is flammable. Kovalev started walking from this spot. Even like a faucet. More than that dead you see. Oh, what's this? This attack's time in a slightly different spot. <laughs> Someone shot him. 
bloom it. Shoot a bartender. Hmm. An endangered species. I'll figure out where the shots came from. Got the latest generation? One that picks up the trajectory of bullets? Relax. I'm old fashioned, but I make exceptions for toys that make my job easier. The attacker shot from the stage. Any thoughts on who did the shooting? Got a dead guy here who'd make a decent suspect. Okay. He's great at playing a dead guy. Really in character. Okay. The caliber matches the gun fired. Is it him? He shot Kovalev before he got hit himself. Someone got a headshot. Andre, it was. Can you check the DNA? Bodies assigned to a user named Edmund Christo Basmond. That doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, I didn't figure it would. Employed by Phalanx. An elite private security company founded by someone called Miller? If I were this guy, I'd look for another job. He fired four shots before he fell to the ground. But only one hit Kovalev. Guard shooting at Kovalev. Good question. Something provoked him. He must have been startled to have such shitty aim. Straight in the Icarite. Whoever tapped him was a fucking excellent shot. So now the question is who? Exactly. So long, Edmund Christo Basmond. Okay, I guess I guess we're done with that. Ugh, what a horrible way to die. He's gonna have such a phobia. Just the sight of a match will make him piss himself. And he'll never light a cigar again. Oh. He's not doing too well. Sounds like clockwork. You recognize him? John Park? The third one in the photo with Green. The main shareholder of Demmer? <sighs> Fucking Demmer. Ribs completely crushed. Multiple minor injuries. It's covered in some kind of flammable shit. We found the same substance on Kovalev. What does it look like to you? Something exploded right next to him. Concussive force broke all his bones. Intense heat set him on fire. Shit. The poor bastard really suffered. Yeah, well, suffering's nothing new. Especially for people who eat Demmer food. Can you find the source of the explosion? As long as this shit glows under UV light, yeah, I think so.
center of the blast was in this lounge. Okay, let's see if we can work out what happened. Damn! He was thrown a long way. Time to check on Park's friends. What was... hung? What'd you say? Nothing. Just that we better get a move on. Martin Roy, the owner of the New York Liberation Stadium? Shit. He was the one we were reading about the new guy. You knew him? Nah, not really. He shook my hand a few times in the old life, that's all. Look at him. Ah, what's this? A scarf. I saw this pattern somewhere. You know, from the photo? From a speed camera? Uh, it's a scarf. But, yes, indeed. Um, Jane Salma had a similar one. Similar? Identical? Uh-huh. But, uh, it's just a scarf. Besides, there's... There's no sign of Salma's presence? No. Not yet. Weird. I can't read the Icarite. Destroyed? It doesn't look that way. I just can't access it. Suspicious. I see a code on the hand. Will you check it? Expensive bodies don't usually have those. Could have been a recent purchase, maybe? Just hadn't gotten around to removing the serial number yet? Oh, weird. It's unregistered, but the body was bought by Phalanx for... Holy shit! For four million bucks? Way too pricey for a bodyguard. Sarah, meet Mr. Miller. You think that's the owner of the company? Not only that. Arms dealer, smuggler. Don't bother looking in the system. You won't find anything. This asshole works for the government. Got some documents. I don't believe it. Do people like this always keep secret papers just lying around for anyone to see? What do we got? Looks like the law on lowering the age of free subscription is just the beginning. What? They want to make it even lower? Mm. And add tons of taxes. I'd say it's a long-term plan. Have they gone fucking insane? They can't do that. Roy was planning the games. Did you read about that? He wanted to distract the crowd. Miller was probably supposed to protect the rich. Someone sure fucked those plans up. Oh, just breaks my heart. I wouldn't say fucked up. Delayed, maybe. But you know sooner or later they'll resurface in new bodies. At least it ought to take them a while. Right. Well, in any case, the longer the plan takes to get started, the better it'll be for the rest of us. All right. Good. Fuckers. Whoever blew them up may have had a point. You got that right. How can we connect it all? Trace evidence of explosives ties directly to Kovalev. I'll check around the bar. Someone lobbed a bomb at them or something. Shells, 45 caliber. No shit. Kovalev used the Tommy gun. Nothing like the classics. He started firing. First he took out 
green. Then he got to the rest of his gang. Turned against his own. Yeah, what? Why is he doing that? It started with Kovalev. First, he served a cocktail he whipped up himself. He treated the next guest with a hail of bullets. Finally earned a bullet himself from Oscar Wino Edmundo. Kovalev gave as good as he got. In the end, he finished off the crooked UC. It's all just so unnecessary. Necessary or not, in the end, the neon got him. Hard. We're lucky. You know what they say. Follow the trail of blood. Nobody says that. I don't know if I can get past it. Oh, there we can. Okay. Uh. What are we doing? Break out the UV lamp. We've got a lead. The trail leads to this guy. We've got Kovalev's prints on the handle of the knife. So he went mad and just started like, just started blasting like uh, Frank from Only Sunny. Drinks that had a kick. Who's the knifer? Zikarite's cut. I'll check the blood. Another one of Miller's bodyguards. Seriously, where does he get these guys? Okay. <laughs> nice display of bravado. I bet he was in the army. You don't get reflexes like that just from a body. It takes training. Years of it. I'd also say he had to use the knife. Because I think by then he'd lost his gun. We don't know what caused the explosion, though, do we? Oh, something. It was dynamite. Something new. You think he blew himself up? Nah, I doubt it. He's not loving dynamite enough. around. We're following the trail of blood. Again. You know, like they say you're supposed to. Uh, I can't. <laughs> Like this job.
Oh wow. <laughs> okay. That's how it blew up then. Why didn't he blow himself up sooner? Good question. Here, you got hit again. Kovalev got shot a few times, but he kept going. The reconstruction's complete. Get the safe. all the data. Open the fucking safe before it all collapses. Roger that. The safe should work again. So he basically just went on a rampage and blew himself up. Okay, interesting. Real scotch? <laughs> crazy? Go! <laughs> taking, taking it. <laughs> the universe presented us with a gift. We gotta respect the universe. It's a card. There's something on it, but without any data. You're out of time. Take what you have to take and run. Wait, there's something else there. There's no time. See this? Green road to Kovalev. Oh, I see. Now, do you want to be scraped off the pavement? Right. I can think of better ways to spend the evening. Could Green and Kovalev have been working together? And why did the fucking bartender want to blow himself up in this particular place? What was he hoping to accomplish? Sarah, are you there? Who would have thought that the fly that was buzzing over Green's corpse would get stuck on Icarus? Can't find a window to fly out of. Who's this? The question is, what can I do for you? And how much can I help you understand? Buzz yourself around the ripest corpse. The one you missed. You'll need to be more precise. There are several corpses here. Close to Kovalev. Close enough to take him out with an explosion. Time could be the net the bastard was trying to trap me in. I had to act fast. This guy, huh? Looks like a big wig. Did you find him? What kind of shape is he in? Dead. Just a temporary state for big wigs like him. Unfortunately. He died from the explosion. Why was Kovalev so determined to kill this guy? He almost got away, didn't he? Do you recognize him? Wait a minute. CTC director. From the rotten family that invented the Icarite. His signature was on the documents from the lounge. He and the others found a way to strip the poor of their bodies to pad the pockets of rich assholes. He's just another dead asshole to me. What do you want? You have a unique chance to get justice. Desynchronize him. Buy some time for the poor people. How? This is just his corpse. It's cold. The guy no longer feels anything. Shoot him through his Icarite. He'll suffer in his new body. And more importantly, he won't introduce more body taxes so soon. It will take months, maybe years, before he gets back. 
back on his feet. You gave time to people who really need it. Yeah, why not? He's a scumbag. <laughs> But my version of um, James is playing very fast and loose with the law. <laughs> I bet my not so great body on a great hand, and damn was I right. Instead of dead, I was ahead for once and ready to break the case of the century. Hey, Chief. Did you hear they served scotch with lead at Icarus? I didn't hear anything. Especially not from you, because you weren't fucking there. I got some evidence. Ties to green. Rock solid. Fuck. First you sent me that bullshit report, and now you got evidence. You listen to me right now. You weren't there. Understand? And we're not talking now, either. In fact, I haven't spoken to you since the accident. Got it? Chief. Nope. That's it. I'm pulling you off this case. Steiner, out. Crusty old bastard. Why do you have to throw me off the case? saying if you can't tell what's going on it's about money Steiner's a decent enough guy but everyone in the city has a price no doubt about it this case smells worse than a two-week-old corpse in a storm drain so many victims who's really behind it all I don't know his name but I can already tell what kind of man he is Nothing but a delusional little fuck. Wants to be judge, jury, and executioner all by his lonesome. Buries the needle on crazy. I try to stop thinking about it. I try to back away. Shut it down. For one simple reason. Much as I like the idea of throwing myself into the city's abyss, if I do that, I'll drag other people down with me. And Sarah doesn't deserve that. This city has a disease. Something festering. Somewhere deep down. Underneath the routine of concrete and steel. Below the predatory grin of the neon lights, an infection has set in. It's like... Like everybody started having the same nightmares. Night after night, I know the dream. The one that makes me wake up drenched in sweat. Hard about to crack open. Scream locked in my throat. When my whole world spins out of control and flies apart. No matter how hard I try to keep it together. Shit. 
get through it. All right, but I think we'll leave it there for now. Uh, another investigation or crime scene investigation done. That was pretty cool. Um, it feels like someone is is taking down like all the people who kind of got the world to the state it is, like the ones who invented the thing that can uh, sort of re-upload people's consciousness uh, into other bodies. Uh, looking forward to seeing where it goes, actually, the story. I don't know if anyone's got any sort of thoughts or theories on that just at this time, but interested to hear them. And, you know, if you enjoyed this episode, uh, it'd be great if you could give it a thumbs up as well. Every little bit of interaction just helps the channel to get noticed and to grow. It's always very much appreciated. And if you're watching this and enjoyed it and haven't yet subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could. So, thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.